Salutations, friends and strangers of the interwebs. Welcome to the channel. I am said Stevie. Quick beverage check. Coffee, black like my soul, and my Roswell Inn mug that I got during the uh, Blade Show uh, road trip when we stayed in Roswell. What's going on today? Well, today is going to be a comparison video. You may have just seen my Wii Mini Malice overview that I did, and in it, I pointed out, I also have the full-size Malice. So I thought I'd go over, show uh, the difference between the two, and uh, yeah, show them off a little bit, uh, do a little bit uh, longer video uh, in the comparisons here. So I have had the Wii Malice for a couple years now. Uh, this is absolutely one of my favorite knives. It's one of my uh, hard users. You can see all the uh, scratches that I have into it. Um, I, I hard use this knife. Uh, this is usually my go-to uh, beater knife. Um, when I ever, anytime I'm doing any yard work, uh, you know, um, if I know I just need something that's going to be reliable uh this is what i go to uh this has gone through a couple of uh changes since i got it this was originally the gray titanium uh, satin blade i sent it into ferrum forge to do one of their uh, uh user finishes to it they originally uh, nano ceramic coated the scales uh black and then they did a uh, acid wash slash uh, uh, bead blasted uh, stone wash finish on the blade. The nano ceramic coating that they did uh, didn't hold up all that well. And I didn't really care for the finish, uh, uh, the, the black finish. It was more glossy instead of matte. Um, they did a decent job on it. However, uh, it's not really what I was up to. So when I had sent this along to uh, John over at Knife Nerd Reviews uh, to check out, um, he ended up doing some heat, uh, some some blackened heat uh, anodizing on this. Basically, he torches the shit out of the titanium, quenches in uh, WD-40, and puts this awesome, uh, awesome user finish on it. And, um, you know, yes, it shows the uh, scratches and whatnot, but I'd say this is a good uh, user finish. He also put uh, a mirror edge on it that I've been able to maintain uh, doing uh, with some of my uh, lapping films that I got. But uh, the action on this thing is ridiculous. Uh, it's a guillotine. It falls shut. Uh, the ergos are money absolute money there's not a single hot spot on this knife um and it's just i i love 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 this knife uh it's my again my number one hard use knife top five knives of all time uh, just everything about it i love uh i hear people say it's got a weak detent um you know maybe just because i've tuned mine enough uh, the detent is fine, in my opinion. Fires out uh, using the uh, fuller, no problem. Uh, middle finger flick it all day. Uh, jimping's done well on the flipper tab. Allows me to fire it out. If you're lazy with it, can you fail it? Sure. But don't be a pansy. Just fire it out, and it's good to go. Um, it carries uh, extremely well. It's not extremely deep carry but it goes in and out of pocket uh just fine again zero complaints about this knife um they discontinued it uh this also came in a flamed anno uh their tiger stripe um i had that one also it was uh i thought i was going to have them both in the collection i didn't care for the finish of the tiger stripe so that ended up being a catch and release, but these uh, these are extremely hard uh, to get. They pop up once in a while. 
uh, I admin on the We Civivi Buy Sell uh, Trade Group. And did I freeze? Am I freezing here? Uh, these pop up from time to time and they go immediately. And I think this knife was originally, um, let's see here. I think I have it uh, pulled up. Um, this was originally like 200 and like 50 bucks, I think, uh, a couple years ago. I got this from Bear Bishop. It's one of the first knives I bought from him. Uh, I got this in early 2020. And so, uh, yeah, again, I've had this for a long time. And everybody is always after him. Well, uh, flash forward to, I think it was SHOT Show uh, late last year. Uh, they announced that they were doing the uh, Mini Malice in a button lock configuration. And uh, kept seeing um, uh, little uh, pictures of it uh, here and there. Well, they had it available at Blade Show 2022, and I had to get it. Picked up my uh, Artisan cutlery valor first and then went right to the boot we booth and picked this bad boy up and i am extremely glad that i did um i didn't think that a mini version of this knife was uh necessary because this is a big old tank why would you need a smaller version well after getting this uh this makes a lot of sense um, it's everything that the Malice is. Uh, it's a tank of a knife. Just in a smaller version, but not a tiny, tiny, um, it's a mini, but it's not a small knife. Um, it's still a very capable knife. So, you went from having a, uh, three and a half inch blade, or I think just shy, a 3.45 inch blade on the Malice, to now a 2.9 inch uh, blade an overall length of on the malice of 8.15 to a 6.93 uh, the weight you went from uh, having 6.10 ounces to um, 3.40 ounces so um, it's a lot lighter um, and you can see uh, going pivot to pivot there uh, the blades are not, it's, you know, maybe uh, just shy of a half inch uh, smaller and uh, just a little over an inch uh, overall in difference. So uh, this knife is not uh, small at all. Um, this is the size of the Nimble. This is the size of, um, you know, quite a few uh, good EDC knives. And I would say as far as EDC goes, this is the way to go here. Um, well, not that you can really find this, but even if you could, if I had to pick one versus the other for EDC, for something I'm carrying every day, I'd go with the um, Mini Malice. So uh, these are both uh, designed by Ferrum Forge. And I am a total Ferrum Forge fanboy. Uh, you can barely see the Ferrum Forge design logo on the blade here since it was uh, blasted. Uh, that came off. But uh, Ferrum Forge totally nailed the design on this. Totally. And uh, the aesthetics of it are just... This is a well-designed knife. And in my opinion, uh, one of the best executed knives from Wii. I don't have a ton of uh, Wii knives, but I've had quite a few, and I still think that the Malice is one of their best uh, uh, executions. There are some uh, subtle differences. Obviously, you have a frame lock here, which is done extremely well, and you have a button lock on here. And the button, man, um, they, they, they did it perfectly. There's absolutely no button stick whatsoever. I mean, can you hear? You just hear the plunge uh, going in there. So button lock, plunge lock, uh, same thing, uh, different terminology. But, 
Oh, who that is? Who that is? Leave me alone. I'm on my lunch break. But, uh... Other than that, uh, the, the locking mechanism, uh, they went from having a uh, backspacer on the Malice, the full-size Malice, to no backspacer on the uh, Mini Malice. I don't know why. Um, I think it would have been cool for them to have done that, uh, put a backspacer on here, but uh, I'm, it doesn't bother me. Uh, the other thing that they did, and maybe, again, I don't know why, uh, they went from having two body screws and a pocket clip screw to incorporating the pocket clip screw on the Mini Malice uh, into the body screw. Uh, obviously, there's no lock bar insert uh, screw there because there is no lock bar. So, um... Other than that, though, uh, these knives are constructed uh, pretty much identical. And, yeah, it's just, it's done extremely well. Um, I, I'm, I got nothing bad to say about these knives. Um, they're, they're flawless, in my opinion. Um, you know, some people can say it's a little bit on the uh, weak detent. Yeah. Detent's fine. Detent's good to go. Um, although, I guess I did handle, I think, cue balls. He's got the flamed one. It's a little light. Um, I've seen some people do a flipper, uh, or talk about doing a flipper delete on this. You know, um, the flipper tab doesn't bother me at all. It's not a pocket P.E.K.K.A. Uh, so much. But, uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's very, very, very unobtrusive on the uh, pocket clip. Or, excuse me, the uh, flipper tab there. But uh, they literally, um, all the little subtle things are, they, they did it exactly the same. From this little uh, chamfer or this little uh, divot that they have right here above the flipper tab, uh, that's identical. Um, it's not as pronounced on the malice, but these little uh, lines here um, in the handle... Um, are done exactly the same. The cutout uh, of the titanium uh, scale is done exactly the same. The little, uh, again, just the little corners. Um, this is uh, the blue titanium, and it's a blast, or kind of a tumbled finish on there. Gives it kind of that battle-worn, uh, distressed uh, look on there. And I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect. I like the blue uh, hardware on this one. Um, and ergos on the small one here. So this is definitely more my style of knife. Um, having the bigger one as a good user, just cause it fills out my hand so perfectly. Even, uh, you know, in the, in, in, in a regular grip there, you got, I got a full four plus some, um, choked up. Uh, I get, uh, you know, uh, really good purchase going down to a smaller uh, the smaller knife though uh in in, the, in a normal grip I, I have just barely full uh four on there but it feels good in hand but then choked up it's even better i guess if i could say one little thing on these is i wouldn't have minded some jimping along the spine of the knife um you know but uh it's it's a little slick um but it's never, it's never, ha I've never had a problem with it. So, uh, back to what I said earlier, uh, as an EDC knife, this is the better knife for sure. Uh, it's lighter. I don't know if you can see, uh, in there, but, um, I'm going to do a disassembly on this here eventually. Um, but, uh, there's internal, um, uh, you can kind of see in there. They did uh, some nice weight relief uh, to the inside of the titanium scales. This thing is light, 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 light. I, uh, what was the um, uh, 3.4 uh, ounces is all. For a titanium uh, scales uh, on a knife with a uh, just shy of 3-inch blade, I think that that's, that's money. Um, 
Maybe they didn't put the backspacer on that to uh, help with the uh, weight. I can see that being a thing. This uh, That would have obviously added a lot more weight. But, um, yeah, I don't... Uh, what else is there to say about this? Um, I covered the uh, ergos of both of these. I think I covered the specs. Um, fidget factor on this thing is off the charts, too. Um, you know, you can uh, middle finger flick that. You can, uh, the, the jimping on the flipper tab is done really well. And the button, uh, it, it's completely drop shut, fall shut. Turns it into an absolute guillotine. You don't have to, um, you know, good access to the button lock. It sits just a little proud of the uh, scale. But you're not going to, uh, in your pocket, I don't think you're going to accidentally uh, actuate it. Um, no break-in necessary on this. Uh, a lot of button locks, titanium uh, frame, or even like on the uh, Malibu and the Mordax, uh, there was some button lock uh, stick that went on initially that had to be worn in. There's none of that on the Malice, on mine anyway. I haven't, uh, I think Javon, uh, has got one, um, God, I don't remember who else, uh, I've talked to that's got one, but I haven't heard of any QC issues on this, so, uh, this is going to be a contender for Knife of the Year for me, for sure, um, this is everything that is fabulous about the Malice, in a shrunk down uh, version uh, and a button lock. So I think this is a complete home run for this knife. Um, and uh, well done by we. Uh, and again, uh, kudos to Ferrum Forge for just designing a badass knife. Um, uh, oh, the other difference uh, I didn't point out um, that I do know, uh, the blade steel on the Malice is M390, blade steel on the Mini is 20CV, so my opinion, I mean, performance-wise, uh, I don't know, this M390 is held up absolutely great, um, but I think I'm a fan of 20CV a little bit more. Very left-handed friendly as well. Uh, for you lefties out there, other than you can't reverse the pocket clip. So yeah, uh, there you go, folks. Wii Malice versus the Wii Mini Malice, both designed by Ferrum Forge. Which one do you guys like better? Have you tried the Wii Malice? If so, what's your thoughts on it? Again, bruiser, bruiser, bruiser of a knife. This thing is a tank. I mean, just listen to that thwack. You know, this, that blade just, you know, thicker blade stock on there. It just thwacks out of there. Love it. And then a little bit thinner on the blade stock there. And it just, boom. Yeah. This is a fabulous knife. Which one do I like better? Ah, I... I, I don't like one better than the other. This suits an absolute purpose for me. This suits an absolute purpose uh, for me. And um, it's a great uh, primary, secondary uh, carry for me. I love it. I love it a lot. So that's it, folks. Um, I will... Uh, I'm just... I'm curious to see uh, how this thing is working. I have not seen any disassembly videos on this. Um, I'm just going to jump uh, into it here eventually. Maybe I'll do that uh, right now um, after I'm done recording this and you'll see a couple of uh, Malice videos back to back. But we'll see. Anywho, folks, I appreciate you guys tuning in and gals. I always say guys. I think, you know, guys is... When you say guys, is that all encompassing? Or when I say that, do the gals feel left out as well? I don't know. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in. If you haven't, uh, please make sure you subscribe right there. And how about you watch that video right there? 
Don't forget to uh, click the notification bell, help out the channel. And until the next one, I will talk to you mofos later. Deuces!